NASA and Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company held a ceremony on Thursday, July 8th at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans. The event pays tribute to the external tank rollout for the last space shuttle flight and commemorates tank deliveries for 134 shuttle launches. The last external tank, designated ET-138, was carried on a wheel transporter one mile to the Michoud barge dock. It was accompanied by the Storyville Stompers, a traditional area brass band, and hundreds of handkerchief-waving employees. The tank will travel on a 900-mile sea journey to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it will support Shuttle Endeavor's STS-134 launch. Uh, the workforce we've got here, um, I, I couldn't ask for a more uh, dedicated group of people. I can't think of any place else I'd rather be uh, than have worked with these people, and, and I, I mean it. Uh, you know, uh, highly skilled, obviously, to be able to do what they do. Uh, unbelievable amount of dedication. Uh, I, when you look at the hardships they've been through and the challenges, and they just persevere, uh, they keep stepping back up and hitting home runs. Yeah, I joined uh, Lockheed Martin in 2004. So it's, it's been an experience and it's amazing to work on such a big monumental uh, thing for space. So it, it, it's been awesome. I've enjoyed every moment of it. This team has a lot to be proud of. Uh, they have done above and beyond anything that they could be, ever be asked to do. I'm just so proud of this team and, and how they've came together and, and worked through the university. Uh, this shows, uh, putting this tank out on time shows what, what NASA's made of. This is NASA's finest right here. And what's all amazing to me and I'm most proud of is the dedication and the pride and the integrity that these folks have had uh, to stick in there and deliver the quality hardware that we need to complete the mission.